Oh, silver card. Spirit resistance and spell resistance. All right, let's uh, earn a bit of money as well. Because that'll be useful for everyone. So currently, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with yours, defense and spell resistance. Okay. This one willpower is not that brilliant, is it? But uh, it's and there's a physical resistance again, but yeah, that's okay. All right. So we have gravestones and rubble. This won't take long. Oh, <gasps> a bone, an ox bone. And a painted sky ball. Complete with constellations. I'm not sure who would like that, but I'll obviously take them. And, hmm. Gives us an uneasy feeling. Okay. <laughs> not too sure about that, to be quite honest. Some elf fruit down there, but I think we're going to have to backtrack. Let's just get this. I don't think there's some enemies this way. Something about that fallen tree. Alright, let's go and see the fallen tree. Iron back. Nice. Okay, so we'd probably be interested in this. So we could take it back to him now. Um, whoa. Okay. Hello. Um, <laughs> didn't expect that. Did not expect that. That was uh, out of nowhere. That was. It's your time to die. So, how about some fire? Hmm? <laughs> Wow. Nice swing. Okay then, you're dead. I kind of feel bad about that. Oh, look at this. We've filled up the creatures tab. No more creatures to be found. That was a wild uh Sylvan. Sylvian? Sil Sylvan. Yeah, Sylvan. Um for demons crossing over to our world, mankind is not always the preferred prey. Possessing humans misks, uh, risks, uh, means risking encounters with powerful mages and Templars as well as other complications. Some demons find it far easier to seek out animals or even plants, assuming that these will make as suitable hosts as a human. Those that possess trees are known as Sylvians. Sylvian, yeah, it doesn't seem right, but it is. Generally, only demons of rage, the weakest of the demon hierarchy, can become a Sylvian. Once they do, they must spend a great deal of time twisting and molding the host in order to make it mobile. And once they have a Sylvian... Sylvan... Sylvan... In, um... Have the Sylvan as a more powerful and... Uh, okay. Once they have the Sylvan as a powerful and deadly opponent. Other more intelligent spirits have been known to become Sylvans, and are generally much less violent, but these are rare. Slow but immensely powerful, wild sylvans prefer to lay in ambush, waiting for a victim to become lost, tired, or trapped before closing in for the kill. They hide among regular trees, clear, uh, nearly undetectable, until they begin to move uh, and to reach. When they do come to life, as some travelers say, they stand tall, roots forming into legs and feet and branches stretching out into lashing arms. When not presented with a living target, however, it has been noted that sylvans often fall... Um, into a form of dormancy, um, dormancy, perhaps brought on by the nature of their tree host. While mobile, they normally return to whatever uh, they were they were rooted once their prey has been killed. For both these reasons, the forest that are sylvans within can become incredibly dangerous to pass through for a very long periods of time. Yes. Well, there we go. We filled up the creatures thing. I almost felt sorry for killing that tree there until I you know until I read that, and then yeah, it's it's an evil. Thingy thing. Okay, where's this go? To the east forest. 
All right, well, we're not going here just yet. We can head back. Because there were some enemies down here. Ready. Oh, you guys. No, just werewolves, werewolves, and rabid werewolves. A rabbit werewolf? Yeah, I know. Terrible pun. Yes. Okay, Zevran, now you have to fix your script a little bit, I think. But yeah, we're going to do this again, because I, I, I kind of like it. But no... There we go. Taunt! What? No. Oh, they're whimpering. Okay, that was easy. I'm assuming these werewolf pelts are just to sell. Probably. East Forest. Alright, so we've got East East Forest. Okay, it's still further down here though that we can go. The blood! Oh, I didn't do that. Oh boy. Oh, hello. <laughs> that really does. Uh, Alright, that's that's one as well, isn't it? You can sort of you can sort of tell. They don't like fire, do they? Oh, gathered that. They don't like fire. Okay, yes. right. No one did a stop for lunch, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you get around there? No mercy. No. Excuse you. Oh, a grand oak. Hmm. Except it isn't, is it? There's another one here. I can see you now. Although they are very good models, and you can't tell, you know, unless you know what to look for, you just can't tell. Okay. Hello. Yes, I thought so. Again, they, they don't really like fire at all. But everybody's in the bloody way, aren't they, Morrigan? Go there. Here I am! Oh! Hello. All right. Perfect. That won't stop me. Oh, cool is everyone. Easy. Don't go too far up. There's a Langmar tree there as well for Bounder. We'll go up here first. Yeah. Grand Oak Clearing. Oh God! Yeah, I didn't see them. Didn't see them. And I'm off. Oh, they're gonna launch box at us. Who is Take. Zevran. Um, you're hurt, Zevran. Just go there. On it. <laughs> Oof, man. Let's that hurts. It. Stop it. Thorny owl, owl, dead mage. Um, Morrigan, get up. Morrigan, get up. Morrigan, get up. Morrigan, get up. Get up, Morrigan. Slay them all. Yes. Oh, Zevran, what you like? I have a potion. On it. Nice. And no, let's just have a cone of cold because that seemed to work. Okay, good. Obviously, fire does quite a lot of damage to them. Oh, Varax, what have you got this time? Another crack skull. He's like, I just fixed my crack skull, and now I've got another crack bloody skull, man. Ah, 
Crag skulls. I only wanted the elf root. That's all I wanted. Any more of you around here? No, I think that's kind of it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you get the elf root. Thank you. Right now we can kill, kill, kill. I shall do it. Can't now we get our hands dirty. I know. Maybe we should just leave them alone. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not be defeated. Yeah, well done, Morgan. Beating up trees. I'm thinking this Grand Oak's gonna be pretty tough. Lots of knockdown attacks and pushback attacks and stuff. That is, of course, if it's hostile. Because it might not be. I think it said the uh, it, it said on the um, in the codex that the ones possessed by greater demons other than the rage demons are um, less hostile. So. This one may have an offer for us, which of course we won't take, but you know, it might be a conversation is what I'm saying. Um, I'm just leaving it for now. Oh. Hmm. An intact campsite. Fire pit smokes and pisses. This is embers enough to build a small flame. There is no signs of any inhabitants. Interesting. How odd. A camp with no campers, complete with fire and warm blankets. Rather inviting, would you not say? I would say it's pretty... suspicious. You get a, no hint of danger, although it strikes you odd that the camp is abandoned. Perhaps searching the camp will give you more clues as to its nature. Hmm. Alright. Fire pit. Being unintended, untended for several hours at most. The embers draw you in, almost hypnotizing you. I'm surprised that fire hasn't burned out. We should tend it. Is there a stick about? Oh, God. I am tired. We need to get away from that. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Perhaps it's safe to rest. It's not safe. It is not safe to rest here. No. No. Stop it. Stop. No. You know, if it's not the same to you, why don't we sit down for a while? Strange as it sounds, I'd rather camp here before going back out into the forest. No, Zevran! No! Oh, God. <laughs> There's no choice there. <sighs> uh, let's not fight. Let's turn around and see what happens. We should use the camp. We need to sleep. You're right. It's not... Uh, okay, fine. Unable to resist, strange siren call, you trudge back to the tents and quickly collapse and drift off into a blissful sleep. Oh, lovely, wonderful, fantastic, brilliant, yeah. Hello. Greater Shade. Morrigan woke up. Um. I see. I didn't do anything. Oh dear. Uh, well we do have... Okay, okay, do this. Nice. And that. Oh no. Morrigan, no. Oh wait, that was lucky. Heal. Very well. Right. Now burn it. Oh wait a minute, it's not even Yes it is. Is it? I just oh, I just woke it up again. Well done me. Uh no 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 no. Um can we just, like, disorientate it, please? That even worked. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll do that and then maybe get a lot of criticals on it as we do this. A lot of damage. Take a potion! Thank you. Begin the onslaught. So I'm going to have to fight one of these, or at least something. Ah. Take a break. Very well. I gotta, I gotta think a bit. Um, oh. Yeah.
This will run out, right? So I know it has no effect, but I'm, I'm just thinking that will run out. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, I kind of did better. <laughs> I kind of did better not as a spider. Overwhelm it. That didn't do anything? What? Um, okay, spider form sucks. Resisted. Can we stop being a spider now? Because that is not working. Ow. That lasts for how long? Duration of the spell didn't, didn't give me a, dura a duration, which is kind of annoying. I was doing so well, just, just, yeah, not that, no, not that. Yeah, and then take another poultice and just attack it normally. Oh, that was awkward what we got there in the end. With the shade destroyed, the fox seems to lift. The camp uh, that was here is ancient, and the remains of the shade's victims all lie as if sleeping still. Thank you, Morrigan. A hungry spirit luring those who pass to their rest and their doom. One might wonder how it learned this trick. No matter, it shall prey on no one else. Hmm. That was neat. Thank you, Variax. Hello? Ah, uh, it's not that good. I will compare it to uh, Zevran's daggers, but I'm willing to bet. We're all injured as well, so I'll have to do that thing. Uh, yeah, it's just not as good. Plus it doesn't even have um, the uh, any runes to put on it. What did you have? No. There's a chest there. Another pile of bones! So Morrigan loves her piles of bones. Alright, no. No. A dusk ring. Plus three cunning, minus one strength. Dalish gloves. Oh! It's everyone. You may well like these. Because you're an elf, you know, and... But later. Oh I yeah, see. I'm not going to have that. Um, Alright, this ring. Plus three cunning. Zevran? You don't need strength, apparently. But you need cunning. So, yeah. Nice. Good. Okay. Um... Another pile of bones over there hmm. I didn't get? Or is that just uh, the same? Oh, no, I love that. Okay, right. Well, we still haven't seen this great oak, have we? I thought it might have something to do with it. But it seems that was just a one-off little adventure, which was fun. And now this thing. Hello? Hmm. What manner of beast be thee? That comes before this elder tree. Uh, are you going to be um, speaking in rhyme all the time? <laughs> Just like I did. Um, how is it you can talk? How do I speak? The same as you. I form the words oh. and sound them true. I'm going to have to now kill you. I have answered the query of thine. But thou has yet to answer mine. Stop talking! <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm a werewolf. Why? No. You're not going to attack me, are you? Let's put that. Are we going to be friends? Ah, oh, thou speakest of the others. How filled they are with hate. I apologize on their behalf. They cannot control their fate. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. Ugh. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Uh -huh. Tis a rhyming tree. One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Why are you speaking rhymes? 
I do not know. Why dost thou not? Thy words seem plain, a mundane lot. Perhaps a poet's soul's in me. Does that make me a poet tree? <laughs> I can't make you dead if you keep up the puns. I am uh, tempted to say that, but I won't. Uh, it's annoying, I wish you stop. It is, but I'm just going to say yes, I get it, I get it. It was but a simple jest. A jibe to entertain my guest. Okay, so what are you exactly? I am an elder oak and nothing more. Though once I dreamt of a time before when I roamed the world and howled with pain. Not of this world, but twixt and twain. Perhaps I was a spirit then, a wandering thing drawn to this glen. But then that spirit joined with a tree. Since then, a tree is all I be. Pretty sure this thing's some sort of demon. You're more than just a tree, aren't you? There are many just as I, but mad they are. I shall not lie. A spirit trapped within a tree. No mouth to scream or eyes to see. A cage of bark, a prison wood. Rage. A thing of rage where nature stood. Rage demon. So twisted sylvan they become. But I am not the same as some. I accept my fated oaken home. I feel no need to rage and roam. Might not be a demon. I'm leaning towards it might be, but if it... Let's just hear it out. Not strictly like a... a you know, I, I know that Silver and a demon. I learned that from the... Uh, codex entry. Um, but uh, what is this boon? Let's just hear him out. I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. Mm, what's so special? An acorn? All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out, yet I shall die if left without. Uh, I don't know, I mean like... I don't want to be too dismissive of everything like I was with the wolves. Um... But I'm, I'm taking from the sort of the codex. I mean, because I can take the codex as, as character knowledge, even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But then again, my character has stu well, uh, studied this sort of thing in the circle when he was young. He would have heard of Sylvan. He would know what they are. Um, not entirely convinced that this is a demon, though. I mean, it might be. Don't know what else it could be, but uh, there's lots in this world that I think my character has found out isn't as it uh, was in the circle sort of thing, as he's taught sort of thing. But when it comes to demons, he's very clear cut. He's like, no, I'm not going to deal with demons. Um, but what if it's not a demon? What if it is just a uh, some sort of tree spirit who's going to die? You know, it's it's that iffy sort of thing. What if? Would be in it for me. Hmm. My wooden skin has some magic, see? And part of it I can give to thee. What good would that do me? I could just take it if I wanted it. I would prefer if you help me find Witherfang. Yeah, well, uh... oh, I could just kill you. Uh, what good would, would do me? The forest would see thee as a tree. 
and so no harm would come to thee. Right, so I mean, because he sort of said that... It means that the other Sylvan wouldn't attack me. Because... And that's either because he's one of them, or again because it just makes me seem uh, another part of the forest. So... Let's mention with a fang. In the center of the forest, the wares do dwell. Or so go the tales my fellows tell. But they cannot be followed there. The forest doth protect the wares. My fellows tell. Now, of course, he could be referring to the Sylvan or the forest does, um, does protect them. If the forest is protecting them, of course, and he's part of the forest. I'm really leaning towards just not helping this guy now. So if the forest... Okay, there you go. He's a Sylvan because... Uh, the, go the tales my fellows tell. Now, if he was talking about trees, he wouldn't then say the forest protects them. They couldn't be followed there, the forest. So he's not part of the forest, so he's a sylvan. So I'm not going to help him. There you go. Um, Alright, we can ask some more questions though, because there's no option to attack him here. So why would the trees protect them? Perhaps wares use magic to command the trees. All I know is they move as they please. Yeah, why is it called a Brazilian forest? Let's ask that. I know it's a bit of a curveball, but go ahead. That is but a human name. One placed upon this land, their claim. A claim they stole from ancient elves, whom they first killed, and were killed themselves. He's obviously been here a long time. It was the elves who planted the seeds, raised the forest, saw to its needs. But that was all so long ago that they are dead is all I know. What happened to make the forest like this? A great war, perhaps. I cannot tell. I was not here when it befell. But many deaths here, all the same. And with the deaths, the spirits came. The spirits entered corpse and tree, and most went mad, as thou canst see. The forest had a spirit of its own, from back when its first seeds were sown. Perhaps she died of grief that day, or perhaps she simply went away. Or perhaps the wares are the ones to blame, for the day she left is the day they came. So he was here before there. Let's say I don't understand, even though I sort of, I sort of do get it, um, because then he'll explain more. I speak as clearly as I see. Hmm. Plainer than this, I cannot be. So it's when the wares came, things started to get a little bit iffy around here. Anything of note? Most of what was is overgrown, leaving only broken stone. Perhaps some ruins remain free of rot. I know not where I see them not. So because he's talking like... Now I'm leaning to the fact that he's not a Sylvan. For something he said about then the spirits came. As if he remembers it. And he was here before then. Are we going to find with a fight? In the center of the forest yeah. the wares do dwell. Or so go the tales my fellows tell. And your word can help me get to the but center of the cannot. forest. The forest would see thee as a tree. And so no harm would come to thee. So, I mean, that seems pretty good. If it's going to help me get to my... Uh, find this acorn for this guy who apparently is going to die without this acorn. Which again, doesn't really fit the Sylvan thing. 
Um, to get it from him and then get a, an item that will basically stop all the trees attacking me, which is annoying if nothing else, um, you know. It's, it's a means to an end. And I'm doubtful whether he is, you know, because I'm doubtful whether he is a demon or not, and because, like, he's sort of, like, giving me something that will help me in my quest, I think I probably will. Wilt thou then perform the task? Wilt thou save me, as I ask? Will. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. Alright. I mean, maybe this, this guy with the acorn can... Uh, oh, look, I found a friendly silver. Alright, so he's a demon. Well, thank you for that. You know, if I'd have known that, I would have just killed him. Because Sylvan is a demon. It, it, it's it's a friendly Sylvan, but it is a demon. I thought it might have been something else, some sort of, like, tree spirit or something. Well, yeah, there it is. There we go. The game's just told me. Mad her I mean, even the Mad Hermit. That wasn't even mentioned in the dialogue. I mean, it doesn't matter, but the fact that my character knows stuff that isn't wasn't actually, you know, mentioned within the, um, the actual spoken dialogue doesn't make any sense. Well, let's do it. To the east. So, if I'd have known that, I would probably just have attacked him. And I, I, I probably could just speak to him now and attack him. It saved it, but I'm not too worried, because I'm just going to go up here. And this is the southeast forest. Exit to east. Ex yeah, okay. Off I go. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't be working for this guy now, you know. But yeah, kind of, uh, I wouldn't say I misread it. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and the game just like, nope, he is a demon. And I'm like, well, I've already decided now. So it's kind of annoying, really. <coughs> yeah, hi. Go on here. Look, just move a little bit further up there. There you go. Right then. If he goes behind it, it dies, pretty much. Stabbing a bloody tree with short swords. Magical short swords, though. 